The IQ system controller is an important part of the end phase system, and if an issue arises, it needs to get corrected so the system can function normally. This video will guide you through the process of power cycling the system controller to correct errors and fix device reporting issues. In order to shut down the system controller you'll have to cut power to the home. Make sure you notify the system owner of the brief outage before you start the shutdown. Locate the rapid shutdown switch for the system and turn it off. You'll hear a series of clicks coming from the system controller. Those are the sounds of the relays opening. Switch off DC disconnect switches on all IQ batteries and then switch off the switch or breaker inside the generator, if any. In the system controller, you'll need to turn off breakers in the following order. It's important to do them in this specific order as to not induce more errors into the system or damage system components. Turn off the battery breaker. Then turn off the generator breaker if present and then the mains breaker. The mains breaker could be outside the IQ system controller towards the grid power supply. Once those are off, move to the IQ combiner box. In the IQ combiner, turn off all of the PV branch circuit breakers. Do not turn off the IQ combiner breaker in the IQ system controller. Back in the system controller, turn off the NFT breaker. Wait for at least 60 seconds for all residual charges on the boards to get discharged. You may hear additional clicks as the system controller opens any remaining relays. If the IQ system controller is used as the main service equipment, switching off the mains breaker will result in losing power to the home. Do not turn off the IQ combiner breaker in IQ system controller. Once the system controller has powered down and you've waited for a minimum of one minute, you can now restore power to the device with the following steps. As with the previous steps, it's important to turn the system breakers back on in a specific order. Failure to do so may create additional issues or damage system components. Within the system controller, turn on the NFT breaker. Within the combiner box, turn on all PV branch circuits. Back in the system controller, turn on the mains breaker followed by the generator breaker if present, and then the IQ battery breaker. The last steps in the process to restoring power will be to turn on DC switches on all IQ batteries. Next, turn on the switch or breaker inside the generator if present. And then the last step is to turn the rapid shutdown switch to the on position. The system exits shutdown only with the availability of PV or grid. Once the system controller has been restarted, confirm the issue has been resolved and that communications have been restored while using the installer app. If the issue persists, contact customer service for further troubleshooting steps. Thank you for watching another video from the Enphase training team.